is, is me and you are watching Sculpey TV. Welcome to our makeup tutorials. Now today's tutorial is a little bit different. We get loads and loads of requests from you guys, okay, for all types of tutorials and, and we've been getting a particular tutorial uh, request quite a bit. Now it's the hairstyle that I did for the Audrey Hepburn um, makeup tutorial from Breakfast at Tiffany's. Now I've been getting this request so much uh, to show you guys how to do the t to how I did my hair basically so I'm gonna do that today I'm gonna show you how simple it is it was very very quick um, it doesn't take a long time I have a very long hair now for those people who do actually ask me these are not extensions it's actually my real hair okay now one day I will give I will tell you the secrets of growing your hair longer all right as well that will be coming soon right so um, keep a watch out for that so this is my actual, my real hair now um, I've used my own hair obviously because I've got a lot of it now you might um, want to use hair extensions if your hair is a lot shorter and I will show you at what point you will need to start putting your hair extensions in okay so basically my hair has been washed and dried now it's been roughly dried and I have my hair kind of dries wavy what I've tried to do is kind and uh, take out any blatant curls in it and just kind of dry it as straight as I can okay now when I say as straight as I can I do not mean dead straight do not put straighteners through your hair unless you have a lot of hair and it's really really thick and the reason I say that is once you put straighteners through your hair your hair's very very silky and um, it becomes very very flat as well so all the volume from your hair disappears okay so you know your hair better than I do so you will be able to make that judgment anyways moving on I have um, just really roughly straightened my hair with a blow dryer um, and that's purely when I start styling it it's you know it doesn't get any kinks in it you can actually have curly hair for this as well create a different style okay now what you want to do is put all your hair back into a high ponytail now I say a high ponytail because I want my bun quite high um, you might not okay so depending on how high you want your bun so create a high ponytail Okay, so um, I have created my ponytail and I made it quite high, okay? Now what you might want to do is hairspray these bits down, okay? Now I have a fringe, so I've left that out and I'm going to start clipping bits of it back uh, depending on how I want it because I certainly don't want this bit here and I think the front part of my fringe is quite thick, okay? Um, if you don't have a fringe, just put it all back. If you do want a fringe, you can actually take a section of it out and have a side parting and clip it back later on okay so there's a few ideas for you okay so this is my ponytail and as you can see I is got a quite a good length of volume there as well now all this hairstyle is is getting your hair and creating a bun like so literally that is all you are doing and that is exactly what I did as well okay so all you're doing is wrapping your hair very loosely very very loosely around your hair and pinning it down okay now the reason i say loosely is just to show you if i do it tight the bun will be tighter and it's you know it's going to defeat the whole object you can actually start adding uh, hair extensions but you know why would you want to do that when you can actually use your own hair now for those who have very short hair and want that extra you know volume what you do is after you've done your ponytail you add your extensions in over here now I'm talking about the clipped extensions the long extensions that you get in a strand of hair and you can clip them up here and then use it to create the shape all right so I've got my hair here what I'm going to do first is hairspray my ponytail and just very nicely just to make sure that I don't have any bits flying up okay so we've got that and then I'm just going to oh which way am I going I'm just going to wrap 
this round my hair I'm going to bring this bit inside and I'm going to press it press it down now what you do is whoops okay that didn't quite work out okay but you know that you, you you know what I'm trying to do what you're trying to do is just literally creating a shape and pinning this down okay so you might you might have to play play with it for a while until you've come up with that shape okay it is a little bit fiddly to start off with especially when you're um, doing it in front of ca a camera and then start pinning this down now you've got to kind of be careful that you take it round properly and it's nice and neat from the back as well Okay, so I have finished pinning this down, literally, okay, and then you might want to, you know, take a few bits of it up, and I've sprayed it. It's important that you spray it and kind of pat it, pat it down, all right? So I'm left with this now, okay? Now, what I want to do is you want to, you want, you might want to sort out the front of your hair. Now, this hair style particularly looks really, really nice when you've got a side parting. Um, my, I've got, I've got a fringe here um, to some of you bangs right so um, yeah so I'm stuck with this so what I'm going to do is make this look like a side party and to do that I'm going to um, this is where my natural line falls um, you can either style it one way or you can actually have it all back but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pin this back Okay, and then I am going to take some of this because I think this is a bit too thick and um, maybe pin some of this back as well okay so you've then sorted out you the front and and your and your bun okay and and that's actually it that's your hairstyle done now um, you can decorate this in so many different ways now you get a lot of these hair bands which are in fashion now for the Audrey Hepburn one I was actually wearing a hair band with two diamante strips okay now it's very very easy to decorate your hair you don't need to go out and spend loads and loads of money on hair accessories you can actually use anything you want you get like I said you get lovely lovely hair bands you can use brooches you can use necklaces you know you could really really be creative okay so go out there and, and, and check all this out um, I'm gonna be using just a simple rope band and what you do is just put it on top and secure it from the back and I just think this is just really simple and really 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 pretty now obviously you're gonna have a lot more time to do this than me so your hairstyles are just gonna be absolutely perfect that is how simple it is guys that's my that's my finished do now you can actually like I said put some crystals there and brooches and you get lovely hair pieces and you know you could go for glory um, brilliant brilliant um, hairstyle for a bridal event, brilliant hairstyle for you know the coming new year, all these um, black tie e events that all you girls are going to be going to in your lovely cocktail dresses. So uh, it's a great hairstyle, you don't have to spend a lot of money, you can actually create something like this at home. Okay, so that's how simple it was. Um, I hope you liked it. I will be having more hair tutorials coming, it's just a, sometimes hard to fit them in. All right, we do get loads and loads and loads of requests, and thank you so much for the lovely compliments, and thank you for the support um, and the request, you know, we don't ignore them. We just got so many that we need to cover that when and where we can, we try and slot them in. But like I said, we've been getting this request for this hairstyle since 
you know the, tu the tutorial went up okay so I hope you enjoyed it um, if you like this tutorial and you're watching this on YouTube there's a like button in the corner you need to press like let us know what you think leave your feedback below we do read your feedback we don't ignore it um, so you know by all means let us know what you actually actually think also if you're watching this on YouTube there's a subscribe button down here you need to click subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel all right you need to click to the, you need to subscribe to the channel to be the first people to get all the tutorials and video blogs we've got so much in store for you oh my god we are gonna absolutely blow you away so you need to keep it locked at Scott Beauty TV to be the first people to find out all right now if you've got an iPhone we make it even easier for you because Scott Beauty have their very own iPhone app it's absolutely free guys absolutely free Apple App Store um, you know download it video tutorials straight to your phone I mean what, what can you ask for guys you need to you need to get on that all right um, last but not least everything that I have um, used and I'm trying to think what I have actually used um, I'm actually gonna list in the description below uh, box below this video okay and I'm give, giving you direct links to all the pages that I've just, just discussed like the subscribe page and the iPhone app page I've put everything below so it's really really easy for you all the um, all the equipment that I usually use, scottbeauty.com forward slash shop, the makeup. We do have loads and loads of people asking. You know what? It's absolutely great at how many guys have been actually buying for their girlfriends, their partners, or their sisters. You know, um, it's it's really it puts a smile on my face when I you know walk through the office and I see the orders. It's it's quite it's quite sweet. So um, if you're a guy and you're watching this and you don't know what to get your girlfriend, you need to um, go to scottbeauty.com forward slash shop. And that's it from me today. I will see you again very, very soon. This is me, Cube Sculpt Beauty TV. See you.